Treasure hunting. <laughs> treasure finding. Yes. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Quad and today I'm presenting you 200 Ancient Dano runs. And already on a run 2 I get a unique from treasure class 87 but the most useless one, Storm Spire. Later on in run 7 random monster drops this embossed plate. That is Atmos Veil that I ended up using for majority of these runs. I used my Summon Necromancer again and uh, my MF was around 265, but with this charm it was 7% more. I came back to pick up that small charm from a random monster that was killed by my minions. And it is absolute banger with lightning resist 11% and 5% faster hit recovery. On around 29 I get something actually very useful. Set Troll Belt. Let's pick it up. This is part of Trangul's set and provides the Cannot Be Frozen stat. This unique ring is 30% perfect nature ring. Some of these monsters are really tough when they have stone skin and they are also fire immune. But this one dropped me a unique blade, the little brother of the wizard spike, Spectral Shard. About 15 runs later the unique wire fleece drops. That's a gladiator's bane. And another addition to my magic find comes again from the sparkly chest. It's a small charm with 6% MF and 7 to mana. On the run 118 I find a unique that I think I've already seen before. That's a Doombringer. And later on, again, unique that we found last time, the Blood Raven's Charge. Run 125, the end of it was cool because I found this Thresher that I used to make new insight for my Merc with less strength requirement. And then again, a third defensive aura skiller, what the hell? Very useful boots drop on run 128. These are Alder's Advance. Almost 40 runs later, I find the heavy boots at the Gore Food completely useless, and also IK Mall. But already on the next run, another drop that we have seen this video. That's another champion's word. And another Doombringer. Here we find the older brother of the Spectral Shard. That's a Wizard Spike. Two runs later, useful gloves drop from the Champion Pack. Unique Gauntlets. These are first burn. And my last drop, and honestly I did not speculate here, this is indeed the last drop on almost the last run, is a Vex rune. Finally I can make a hotter rune word. I was super excited, finally, high rune after so many runs that I didn't see any of those. Alright, here are the best finds from these 200 Ancient Tunnel runs. It took me about 8 hours, so it was a bit tough, but this Vex rune made it all worth it. Also, the lucky charms are pretty nice. Thank you for watching again, guys, and see you next time in my another video. Hopefully, it's gonna be Travinko Runs.